Hi guys, family. Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys have a great and exceptional day. It's another beautiful day to be alive. So let's get it, as they say, and let's go from there. If I can just get there, we go. All right. Well, the story is very interesting, wonderful, because I remember being told way back when I started out in the work world slash working in the adult job market uh, back in 2003. Uh, 20 years ago, man, time flies by. But anyways, the number one thing that I was told is to never ever job hop because you do not build that kind of working relationships that it takes for one to take their career to the next level. Well, in my experience, job hopping gave me much more experience within the job market, various other jo um, industries, um, built connections all over other industries that I work in that I've worked in and allowed me to increase my income all at the same time, taking bits and pieces of information and being able to compile it into one. Therefore, when I go on a job interview, I'm able to um, bring up those different examples. And, you know, I'm able to, you know, when they, when I'm giving these crazy outrageous questions, I feel like I'm in a sense able to um, hit, hit, hit them out the ballpark like a baseball player, all right? So according to an article that I read the other day, Shania El Amin, 28 years old, living in good old New York City, New York, New York, Nueva York, has worked in banking and tech, uh, banking in the tech industry. And in February, uh, she was laid off. Uh, last February, she was laid off from her tech job and is taking um, time away from corporate America to grow her own business and an online career and lifestyle platform called Flynet. And before I go f forward, this is becoming the new norm for most people. A lot of people who do a good job of saving and investing their money and getting other skill sets and have other goals and aspirations outside of being a top tier employee have learned to understand that eventually their job can be, they can be laid off, especially to the standing of the economy. They know what automation and AI um, coming in full force. Um, and that's been talked about way before 2023, but they see it now with their own eyes that they know that they are, we are living in a time where you losing your job is just going to become the norm. And it's not going to matter who's in the White House, governor's house, or the mayor's house. It's just going to be because you, you are competing with robots. So another thing, reason why I wanted to talk about this, because this is a very great story. Um, and it kind of counters the narrative of, hey, get a, go to college, get a good job. Everything's going to work itself out. And, that, and we know since 2007, eight time frame, that could not be more further from the truth than any other time. And it is just intensified over time. All right. Regardless of who's in the White House, governor's house, and mayor's house. I know it makes people feel good to think that they're special when they mention a politician, but economics is going to be economics regardless of who's, who's, who's um, in political power. I leave it at that. But anyways, her early career, she more than doubled her salary, starting off earning $72,000 and leaving her most recent job with uh, uh, $186,000 yearly um, paycheck. And before I go on, that is what it's all about, family. Constantly not only increasing your income, but increasing your income all um, and your value all at the same time. And after um, Mrs. Elamine uh, graduated from college in 2017, she obtained a great job as a senior project analyst in Amer with American Express, earning $72,000 per year. The article also stated that um, Mrs. Elamine didn't know much about negotiating, but knew everything said um, everyone knew everyone who said to ask for more um, when it came to um, negotiating a salary. So she shot for something that would be move her into the seventy thousand dollar range because the initial job offer was sixty eight thousand dollars and she negotiated a salary up to seventy two thousand dollars. She stated, and I quote, "I didn't really have a strategy back then. I was just ha kind of happy to have it at that point." And that is usually how most recent college graduates feel, especially given the fact that most college graduates have so much student loan debt that they can um, they that they can afford for the most part uh, to basically they can't really afford to ever pay it back. So when one can start a job at seventy two thousand dollars or sixty eight thousand dollars means a lot, especially in overpriced New York City. The article uh, stated that in 2019, she got a promotion to a product development role and a salary bump of $89,000. She didn't have transparency into how pay was set and was told that there wasn't an opportunity to negotiate for more money in regards to for salary. 
Several months later, she got an equity adjustment to bring her up to the market, earning just under six figures. And at the end of the day, most college courses do not teach the youth the art of salary, neg salary negotiations, investing money, et cetera, and so forth. And a situation where uh, Mrs. Elamine was able to increase her yearly income was when she became a product manager, increasing her income to $130,000. In order for this to happen, she talked to former college classmates to moving to a new company. Um, she spoke with her fellow alumni who um, worked at the master, worked at MasterCard who ended up uh, referring her to a product uh, manager. Uh, before I go forward, and I'm glad she had this mindset of, hey, never, never settle for less. Think outside the box. Keep build a network and keep a good network of people that allow you to progress. And hopefully you put them in a position where they can allow them to progress all at the same time. Um, but anyway, she stayed, she's, she describes it as uh, being the right, being at the right place at the right time. She stated, and I quote, they were looking for someone with the almost exact background and I matched that with uh, well with the team that she was going to be working for. Remember that networking is key and being able to reach out to former classmates, coworkers, etc., can be the key to helping you have a successful career in business family. The article also stated that in March 2020, she offered the job, she was offered a job with a base salary, and this is during the height of the pandemic, with $130,000. Um, and Mrs. Elamine says leveraging her network helped her go through the hiring process quickly and end up with a competitive salary. Then by 2021, by 2021, Mrs. Elamine, her, um, her salary, um, including a sign on bonus, signing bonus went up to $158,000 last, but definitely not least time pa as time passed, she obtained another job as a technical project manager with PayPal and negotiated her salary up to $186,000 per year. Moral of the story is that one needs to be willing to network and go outside of the comfort zone in order for them to succeed in this life. And in the age of automation, that couldn't be more true and it's gonna intensify for the next generation. So on that note, family, uh, don't forget to check out my online store. Uh, don't forget to check out um, Support Your Local Entrepreneurs by uh, purchasing products. And it's always uh, greatly appreciate the donations on my Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, all that great stuff. Larry's Anything Goes, LLC. Um, links in the description, all that great stuff, all the stuff. So check it out. If you're a stock market investor, crypto investor, individual time account investor, don't forget to check out Weeble Stash, Acorns, Crypto.com, Coinbase, all those platforms. You'll be able to make some money moves. Specifically at Weeble, you get some free stocks. So check, out, check it out. All those links are in the description. And don't forget we're part of the GS Partners where you not only have the opportunity to buy crypto, but you have the opportunity to refer others to do the same thing. Um, and on that note, remember, you can't get fired if you own a company. And this is Elamine. Did a great job of working for a variety of companies, but now and she got fired, and now she's worried. Um, now she's putting all her time and energy into her own company. So more power to you. Nothing but love and respect. And as I always, say do the great three things. Like share and subscribe. Have a great day. Make money moves, or you're gonna live broke like a fool. Take care.